So our movie, uh, which is called Endings, Beginnings, is about endings and beginnings in one's life. So I think it'd be a good idea for us to kind of just explore the idea of our favorite endings, beginnings in other movies and um, kind of talk about each other's work and what we think about it and how we came to each other in a way. Well, I'm just gonna go with When Harry Met Sally because it's just like the greatest last line in a movie ever. I hate you, Harry. <laughs> yeah, that one. No, I mean, but that, when he's like, you know, you, you realize you want to start the rest of your Oh, yeah. Life. You'd like that start, start as soon as possible. I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Such a great ending. I mean, that's, that's great. Just, and it's a good beginning, too. So I think my favorite beginning to a movie, probably Train Spotting. Do you remember? Yeah. Oh. And if it's got Iggy Pop, Lost for Life, and it's the whole, you know, choose life thing, and just that running through the streets of Edinburgh, and he's been chased and going to the car, and that song, and the freeze frame of you and on the car, yeah, yeah, and you're instantly like the energy of it just like smacks in the face. So yeah, train spotting. Got to really. be one of the best beginnings ever. Oh. choose life, choose a job, choose a career, choose a family, choose a. Big television. I like any ending in general that's a little bit in like uh, that leaves it up to the audience's discretion. I really loved the way that Parasite ended this year. I did see that movie. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with In the Mood for Love. I think it's the greatest movie ending of all time. I cry my eyes out. I just saw it the other night again for the first time in years and I cried my eyes out. It was just incredible. That's what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I mean, just even in modern history, just like even like Eternal Sunshine, the way that movie begins and ends. Oh. The perfect bookends of all time. Work from um, one of you, you lot, I'm gonna choose you, Drake. Um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great example of uh, a beginning and an end working so well. But, but breathe in, like I don't know, I watched it again quite recently and I haven't seen it since it came out. Wow. It begins with them trying to do this family portrait and there's very few words spoken in the, in the opening, but you get a very instantly clear picture of the dynamic in the family. And then it ends with another family portrait and they've gone through this, they've all gone equally crazy um, events um, in an hour and a half and it is, uh, it's just a great book ending of a, of a, of a beautiful, beautiful film, I think. Um, Spectacular Now, that's what I'm gonna go with. For you. Um, that was gonna be, that was gonna be mine. That was gonna be mine, you stole mine. Yeah, yeah, I just think that I thought, you know, I think that movie's great. Maybe I'll rewatch it actually. Again. It's a beautiful performance. That was definitely the first, but I was like, really like, oh wow, like massively on my radar. Yeah, and just and just some of the simplicity of that story of, of of that story and just how it was communicated. You guys' performances and Miles was great. And what's funny about that and about how you how you and James both work as directors, Drake, is you both just let things breathe. Mm. You will let them just go for as long as they need to go and then refine it. For me, I really loved Drake. I'm gonna use choose you again. Um, is newness. I thought that the it was such a beautiful, and I don't feel like it got the credit it needed and deserved, in terms of such a healthy and beautiful reflection of how young people learn are trying to figure out how to love today with the modern distractions of technology and the way that it starts. I think is so creative, and the journey of that movie to then kind of end up in a very different but very similar place where these two people in the beginning of the film are desperate for connection to themselves and desperate for like authentic connection to others. And the movie kind of ends the exact same way. And I, I don't know, I just, I thought that movie was so, I guess I'm trying to make the endings beginning thing work for that film. First time I was aware of Jamie was Marie Antoinette, Sophia Coppola. First time I saw Jamie, I was like, who's that sexy guy? First time, <laughs> first time I ever saw that. <laughs> and then we got to do, and then we got to do a Hugo Boss commercial together, a short film, which I'm really proud of. And then that's how we met. And I was like, oh my god, he's amazing. He's so fucking chill and cool and smart and amazing and subtle and, and emotional. And I was like, I really want to work with him. Uh, and then Sebastian, when I saw Itania, I was fucking blown away. And then when I met you, I was like, 
I was like, what a chameleon. I was like, this guy is completely and utterly, he's not, he's not a character actor. He's not a leading man. He's something totally different, something totally unique, transcends the whole terminology of it. And I was like, just couldn't believe it. Well, I, I appreciate that. I, I just thought maybe it was when we first met, the first thing that, that I think I said to you was, life is very painful, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, I, I was like, this is my guy. <laughs>